question 13. This is a drawing of a pentagonal prism, and there you have the drawing. Now, first of all, we need to examine what is meant by a prism. Now, a prism is basically when you have a shape at the front, which we call a cross section, which is this grey pentagon here, and the same shape runs all the way through to the back and then comes out of the back. So the back would also be a pentagon of the same shape as this pentagon at the front. And also, if you sliced the prism at any point, so for example, if you sliced it with a knife down there and took the two bits away from each other, you would also see a pentagon at the front of each of the two bits. If you sliced it here, you would see another pentagon. So wherever you slice that shape, you would always see a pentagon if you slice it downwards and that's what why it's called a prism so the question is what have we got to do well it says of all the nets here tick the one shape that is a net for the pentagonal prism and we've got five to choose from well if this was unfolded what would we have well we'd have rectangles around the sides and there are five sides to this so we would have five rectangles we would have a pentagon at the front and a pentagon at the back. So we would have two pentagons. So our net must contain five rectangles and two pentagons. Now, is there any shapes that we can rule out from this straight away? So we're looking for five rectangles and two pentagons. Well, this one here has only got four rectangles. So straight away, that one can get ruled out. This has got five rectangles, two pentagons. Five rectangles, two pentagons. Five rectangles, one pentagon. So that one can get ruled out. And five rectangles, two pentagons. So we've already managed to rule out two of them. But we're told that only one of them will work. Now let's have a think about this. These five rectangles here would all fold around the sides. But then these two pentagons are on the same side. They're both on the bottom of the shape. So they would both end up on the bottom of the prism. And there would be nothing on the other side. So there'd be nothing on the top. So this shape here and this shape here would end up overlapping with no shape on the other side. No pentagon on the other side. So this one would have to be ruled out as well. Now we've only got two left. So let's have a look at this one in the middle. If you imagine this pentagon here being the front of the shape, then these rectangles would all wrap around to form the sides. And if this line here is at the front, touching the front, this rectangle here would go all the way to the back. And then this pentagon would be left to go on the back. So these two pentagons would form the front and back of our shapes here and the five rectangles would be around the side so that one must be the one that is going to work so it's that one now there's no real need to check this one although if you did want to do that you would quickly work out that these rectangles here wouldn't actually fit round the sides properly because these three would be round the sides but this one would be coming off top edge and two of these rectangles would actually overlap so this rectangle here this edge would fall down this side but then this rectangle here this edge would also fall down this side so this rectangle and this rectangle would end up overlapping so actually this one can't be either the one in the middle is the only one that is going to work to make our pentagon so that's the one we need to tick just to be clear, let's rub everything else out. And we're saying that it's the middle one that is the correct answer.